I just feel like when fall and winter rolls around, I'm probably gonna live in this suit as much as possible anyway. It's like throw the whole wardrobe away. At this point, cause this, I feel like this is all I need. It's all I need and it's life of sin. It's me and my Jilla. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. Hey, yeah. And as you guys can see, today I'm gonna be talking about my newest pickups. And before we get into today's video, in case you are new here, hi, my name is Sierra, and I am all about classic, timeless, quality fashion. I like to review everything that I buy. So if you are into luxury goods, if you're into just well-crafted goods, because not all the time things I buy are luxury, I do thrift quite a bit. So if you're into quality garments, then this is definitely a channel that you should be following, my dear. So I recently picked up a Martin Margiela mainline, okay, suit. And I work at a place where we carry multiple luxury brands and we had a little sale going on. So I will say if you are wanting or you desire, I guess that means the same thing, a luxury retail experience, then please DM me if you stay in New York, of course. Um, or even if you don't, like if you're looking for something like I can check my job for it. I don't necessarily want to say where I work because I don't want people just popping up. Like if you're going to come see me, I kind of want it to be intentional. I say that to say I can definitely assist. I love to assist. I just really like when people look good. But basically, my coworker hit me up in the group chat, in our little store group chat. I was like, Sierra, come to the back counter. I'm not going to hold you. As a black woman, I do have a lot of PTSD. So when somebody says something like that, I'm like, I'm in trouble. What did I do? What did I let me out? I just thought I clocked out. Like, I got, you know. So I'm already thinking in my head, like, what did I do? But anyway, I get to the back counter. And he's like, I have this Margiela suit for you. My client just returned it. Like, here you go. Instantly, y'all. Y'all know I'm the Margiela girl. It's classic. It's under $500. It's a no-brainer. But I was like, hold on, I'm too excited right now. Like, I'm getting too hyped up on the deals. Let me go try this on because Margiela or not, I'm just like, I don't want to buy something that just doesn't work for me ultimately. So I tried it on and I was literally blown away. As you guys can see, the pants fit your girl like a freaking glove. Like, oh my gosh, honey, don't be basic for nobody. As you guys can see, they have a zip code closure and then like this little clasp detail here which I feel like says Margella and with the four stitches on the back I feel like I talked about this in my last video but yes you can definitely pluck the stitches out if you want to but you never know I feel like maybe I might sell this one day although nine times out of ten I probably won't but shit you never know you may fall on hard times and then you don't pluck the stitches out your Margella suit now what you gonna do okay because then you ain't gonna get what you could have got if you wouldn't have plucked it and also, I just don't mind, you know, the stitch. However, I do feel like Margiela is a part of this quiet luxury, you know, trend that's going on. So it is quite noticeable. So if you're not a person that's into logos or if you're like me and it's just like you don't care about wearing a receipt on your body, you know, I don't care about people knowing what I wear. Like today I wore a freaking whole thrifty look just because the fabrics work. I, that's that's me. That's my my thought process. In case you again are new to my channel, I don't care about brands. I don't care about logos. I mainly care about fabrication and how timeless the garment is. And with that being said, this suit, y'all, is superb. The fabric makeup is going to be seventy percent wool and then thirty percent polyester, which I actually don't mind. That I used to think that moths were a myth until it happened to me. Until it happens to me, y'all, it, it ate through my little wool jacket. So maybe you all don't like polyester. I don't know. As I said again, the waist fits me perfectly. However, if I wanted to get it check, taken out, I could have because it is a little bit of a fabric in there for it to be let out. So when it comes down to trousers, I would definitely say make sure you are checking the inside to see if there is some extra material. Because I will say when it comes down to, again, like a trouser, especially a well-made or luxury trouser, Typically, they will have a little bit of uh, fabric in there for you. Love, obviously, the jacket as well. It's super, super classic. It features, you know, a very standard lapel, pocket on the breast, and then two slip pockets at the bottom of the jacket, and then also a vent at the back. And I will say, if you're looking for a classic blazer, I would definitely look for one that has either one vent or two vents. Because, I don't know, it just... 
looks more elevated it reads more luxury and also it just gives you more movement it looks cool when you're like walking through my only quorum with this jacket is the fact that the sleeves are not as long as I'd like like I am one that love a little slouch vibe a little effortless vibe I feel like with the sleeves being a little bit shorter it just looks like prim and proper which I know a lot of people especially that's into suiting may look at this and be like oh the sleeves are perfect you can wear a button up underneath and you can pull the sleeves down or you can wear bracelets and be able to show your bracelets it's just never been my thing now with that being said I am still gonna wear it <laughs> I'm gonna make it my thing because I could not pass this up and as you guys can see, the 1 and the 10 is circle. So the 1 is going to be La Collection Pour Femme, and then the 10 is going to be La Collection Pour Homme. So collection for women and collection for men. So this is technically a unisex suit, which I feel like anyone can get away with wearing the suit, again, considering how classic it is. And as you guys can see, when it comes down to the pants as well, the pants are actually unfinished, meaning I'm going to have to have them hemmed and like finished off at the bottom. Uh, and I, I, I appreciate when brands do their trousers like this because I'm always thinking about like everyone is not a certain size, right? So for a person that's super tall, like my coworker, for instance, he has a variation of this suit and he didn't have to hem his pants at all. Like, and they're still long. They still, you know, work for him. Now, obviously I'm shorter and I could always just shorten mine. But when the pants are hemmed, I definitely think that it makes it less inclusive. Like I remember working at a place where we sold suits and a lot of people over like six feet, they couldn't do our trousers because they were cropped or like hemmed to a point where it just looks super awkward on their legs. So I feel like definitely leaving pants unfinished is definitely the way to go when it comes to um <laughs> making a suit I don't know why I'm even saying this like I can give y'all advice on making a suit and it's so funny because when I put on my Margiela boots my little three inch boot I was like oh these are gonna be perfect you know I'm not gonna have to hand them they're just gonna just really sloosh over the boot but as you guys can see they actually go over the pants go over and underneath my shoe so I'm definitely gonna have to hem them up you know a little bit now when I do hem them I still want them to puddle over I still want them to basically still touch the ground just like not under my foot and the color is actually navy it's so funny when I tried it on I think I had such an adrenaline rush that I thought it was black and I was like oh my god I gotta black classic suit which i don't feel like i really own a black classic suit so I'm super happy i already own a navy suit with that being said i still wouldn't have passed it up if i knew it was navy back then but yeah putting it up against black you can really see the true naviness of it and yeah also i'm one of those types of people where i will wear navy with black i don't mind it i think it's the chicest thing I always thought it was the chicest thing. Actually a funny story. One of my first ever like retail jobs was actually at Abercrombie for Kids. And I remember my manager who interviewed me, she was like, oh my gosh. She was like, the only rule that we don't have is wearing like, you can't wear navy and black together. She was like, and I don't know who would do that anyway. Like that is the most hideous thing. She said something like that. And literally, I promise y'all, I literally wore like a navy shirt and like black jeans to my interview. So back then, didn't know it. Now it's hot all alone. Yeah, also on the sleeves, as you guys can see, it has like the three little, I don't know, stitches so I can maybe insert a button if I want to. However, I don't think that I will. Or it may even be just a part of like the whole like Margiela aesthetic, like deconstructed, left unfinished, you know, type of a vibe. So I don't know, but I'm just really obsessed with this suit, y'all. And I had tried it on with like a t-shirt for like the try on portion but I am gonna jizz it up just a little bit you know maybe slouch the t-shirt a little bit because I don't think that I was really paying attention to how I had the t-shirt because I was like low-key rushing for work I just feel like when fall and winter rolls around I'm probably gonna live in this suit as much as possible anyway it's like throw the whole wardrobe away at this point because this I feel like this is all I need it's all I need and it's life a sin it's me and my Jilla okay so yeah y'all that is going to be it for the margiela suit and i'm not even gonna say how much i paid for it because it may make some of y'all head spin but i'm just gonna say under 500 dollars. again let me know dm me if y'all want not the deals because i can't promise y'all deals but i can promise you a luxury experience that you will not forget next we're gonna get into my very first ever yoji yamamoto piece y'all i am so freaking happy i do own some y3 pieces which is like a subsidiary of 
Yoji uh, with Adidas as a collaboration. And the pieces are obviously less in money and also just more like everyday pieces. Like you can get a little jogger, you can get a little hat, you can get a little sneaker. And yeah, they always have like little discounts too, low key. There are also several other lines underneath Yoji Yamamoto. And in case you're unfamiliar with Yoji, he is a Japanese designer, mostly known for his like avant-garde tailoring. And if you look at his earlier collections and compare them to now, you can definitely still see some similarities. You can definitely see a brand identity. He also tends to work with like white and black as far as colors, although you do see some colors in his collections. There are definitely people out there who are like true Yoji loyalists who, <laughs> who will only wear Yoji. I just think that it's so odd that I've never bought a Yoji piece. I don't know. And I do search it on like the real, real, but I'm the type of person where it's, I don't care about the hype of things. Like I definitely have like this weird, you know, it has to speak to me type of energy when it comes to like clothing, because I do own brands like Margiela, Rick Owens, La Mer, you know, um, and the Mulemeester, brands that fit along the aesthetic of Yoji. So that's why I feel like it's so odd that I just never really owned a Yoji piece. When it comes down to Yoji, I think that ultimately you are paying for craftsmanship and again, the fabrication and all that goes in hand, but pretty penny for a pretty garment. So getting into my first ever Yoji piece, my hands are so sweaty and probably about to get it so dirty, but I was at Beacon's Closet like this past weekend, me and my friend, and literally just going through the racks. And I, every time I go there, I'm just like, why don't I come here more? You know, you although it's secondhand, you look up and you spend about three, four, five hundred dollars, okay? And I, I don't be intended to do that on my day to day. But I could not freaking pass up this Yoji Yamamoto piece, baby! I saw it and instantly was like, oh my gosh, I freaking love it. And it spoke to me. That's just what it is. It spoke to me. And as you guys can see, it is 100% cotton made in Japan and it is a size medium. And it is not in like pristine condition even, but I feel like the grade of cotton this is, is just superb. It almost reminds me of like a type of cotton that they would use in like the army. And also like this boat neck also gives me like this army type of a feel too, which I feel like again makes it just like super classic. Mixed with the little fin detail going down the middle. And I just feel like obviously tucked inside my little Izzy Miyake shorts is a look that I'm definitely gonna have to get off. But I also can tuck it inside a pair of jeans. I also can tuck it inside my Margiela, you know, little trouser situation. Super, super versatile. And I think that that's obviously something to look at too when you are purchasing something that is super expensive is how much wear you're going to get out of it. And again, if you follow me on YouTube, then y'all already know that that is a main thing that I'm always looking at is like cost per wear. And obviously when it comes to neutrals, when it comes to cottons, when it comes to um, pieces that are well made, those pieces are going to A, yes, hold up, but also transcend through trends, baby. I need to patent that. I also thought I was going to be able to wear it as a dress. I was sadly mistaken because I would never but <laughs> I feel like I could if I wanted to, but I, I'm, I'm probably not. I just feel like it's just a tad bit too short. And also I think that it's the type of material where I would constantly be pulling it down all day and I'm just too old for that. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my new pickups. Also, let me know what y'all have picked up. Y'all know I love hearing about y'all pickups because obviously y'all be getting some fire. I'm starting to realize that the people who support me are kind of a reflection of me and vice versa. Because when I meet y'all in person, sick. I just be like, wait, what? You know who I, what? Like, it, I just be blown away. But anyway, love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Peace.